my thing was I didn't want to die. Um, like my liver is fully covered, so they've deemed me inoperable, incurable, palliative, terminally ill. I knew I didn't want to get go through chemo again. It had already spread to my liver and my lungs. So now I was terminal. With that news, it was kind of shocking. Without treatment, I think I have about a couple months to live. The, the thing that we're trying to emphasize is that if you do metabolic therapy the correct way, you can not only manage the, the disorder, but you can also correct uh, uh, and fix many, many other problems that some cancer patients might have, like diabetes, high blood pressure, hypertension. So you, you actually get healthier as you're degrading your tumor. It's down now to 0 0.05, which is almost nothing. So here I am about uh, 15 months, 18 months later, and I'm doing really well. I did that for 2020. In December 2020, I was cancer free. I, my wife had a stage four cancer diagnosis uh, and she used metabolic therapies. One year later, she was cancer free. And I'm not saying we throw out all chemo because obviously you folks have done really well with chemo. What we're finding with fasting and part metabolic, part chemo, what we're finding is that dosages of chemo uh, can be lowered significantly and still have powerful therapeutic efficacy. If you want to live and you want to get healthy, you do metabolic therapy. Now that doesn't mean you don't do radiation and chemo. It would, it would change the entire system, but they will not allow that to be done anyone that's been touched by cancer if you're worried about cancer please share this video please share professor seafried's work please share brad's documentary cancer evolution.film for anyone that's touched by cancer it's a travesty it's a tragedy it is criminal that this information is not given to them just as an option just as an additional tool in their toolbox of, of ways to treat their cancer